Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a little 40 millimeter fortress padlock and uh, we're gonna get this one. I already have one clamped up right here. So we're ready to go to gut it. Um, let's go ahead and show you. Let's go ahead and pick it real quick. And three, one. And there's our open. And just to show it's not a fluke, these things just really don't have any security in them. There's four, two, there we go. And there's our open on our other one here. Let's go ahead and take this one apart. So you can see I knocked most of the pins out of it already. You can still see some of them in there hanging on the back and the rest of the way I have it just twined up right there to try to hold it together. So we're going to remove that part now and let's undo the stuff first. In fact, I'm just going to cut it, make it easier. There we go. There we go. All right, so our lock is getting ready to fall apart. And like most of them, there's the spring right there being held on by the, the front plate there. So we can go ahead and take our shackle spring out and it's like our core, or there we go, our cylinder. Go ahead and come out. It's really small. You can tell it's four pins. And we'll gut that in just a second. And uh, before I do, let's show you how this thing's put together. And yeah, I can come back and cut after that is gutted. Let's go down here. Sorry about that shakiness. And a lot of these are the exact same size and shape most of the way down because that's just to hold on to the the cylinder. All of those are. And here's where it starts to change. So put that one under there as well. Oh, no, that's perfect. Oh, yep, yeah, and underneath here is our Actuator, it looks like another wafer style actuator. I notice Brinks have these as well. Oh, it's also stuck on that padlock shackle part right there. Oh, yeah, okay, so I remember this part. This was a pain in the butt. I don't remember how I got it back together, but so let's see if I can get in the side there. You can see there's my the actuator right there. In fact, let's see if I can pull it out. But it sits perfectly inside the shackle or inside the body there, held in by the shape of the laminated uh, steel pieces. There we go. And so this is what it looks like. Let's see if we can take this off. So this part right here, the um, the shackle seems to be fit where I can't pull it off right there and I haven't encountered that yet so I'm not sure how to handle that but the, the actuator itself the way it kind of works is it sits in here a certain way that, or it fits right in there the piece is shaped the way it should and on here on this side is a little little spring that pushed that pushes on it but yeah I can't really get that piece out and I kind of don't want to screw with it. But yeah, that's it. And I will cut real quick and gut the lock and be right back and show the pins. All right, I do have it gutted. And as you can see, four pins and all standard pins. So that was our 40 millimeter Fortress laminated padlock. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.